Welcome back to Watching Baseball. We are on to the 1998 World Series Yankees versus Padres. Yankees won in 1996. They did not make it in 1997. We watched that yesterday. And today, 1998 World Series. It's a four-game sweep. Anything else you got on it, Jake? We've got the the Yankees and the Padres, for that fact, trying to become the team of the 90s, chasing down those Braves, LOL. Um, no, a lot, lot of Hall of Famers. I mean, a lot of baseball people are probably familiar with this Yankees team, Core 4, blah, 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 Jeter, Reigns. Well, Tim Reigns not part of the Core 4, but he's a Hall of Famer in this series. Uh, Joe Torre, we got Bruce Bochy for the Padres, Tony Gwynn, Trevor Hoffman. And uh, Tony Gwynn in the four games hit 500. <laughs> not bad. Fat, fat man could hit, I was told growing up. And uh, yeah, I mean, this Yankees team is considered all time. They won 114 regular season games, so. They good. All right, so we are going to game three. Yankees won game one. Yankees won game two. They go out to San Diego. The Padres are up 3 nothing going into the seventh inning. A little home for home. Padres fans are like, all right, they won at home, but we'll win at home too. Yankees say, nah. First time the Super Bowl and World Series were held in the same city. Oh, you said a strike call by the ump. Oh, yeah. Fix the audio. The Scott Brocious. And Paul was caught in between. Love Scott Brocious. Uh, between master of the bare-handed play at third base. Nothing and one to count on Brocious leading off. One ball, one Just kind of how, and again, I grew up a Yankees game, fan, so maybe this is totally World skewed, but kind of how you he picture a third Yankees. baseman. We didn't do our disclaimer. If you're a Padres fan, you're going to know more about the Padres than we know about the Padres. The Yankees fans probably. Also, I lived in Australia during the next three World Series for the Yankees, 98, 99, 2000. And my mom would record them on VHS, playoff games. And when we came home from work, and when we came home from school, my dad came home from work, we'd all watch them. Uh, Layer behind the dish? Yeah. Kind of interesting tidbit. What I was saying before all that Australia jibba jabba. Scott Brocious is how I picture a third baseman. Like, not hyper-athletic, but just good. Like, covers his domain, does his job. He has a pretty good World Series here, On defense, Todd Frazier reminded me of him a little bit. A little bit, yeah. I, I put them in, in similar ilks. Like, they, they are a power threat. They can make a good play defensively. And that's kind of it. Good hitting position for Scott Brocious. Brocious. I think he's a California fan. I wonder if Scott is he from Southern California or Northern California? I wonder if this was a homecoming for him. Ooh. That's a moonball. The the moon the the 375. Sterling Hitchcock didn't have, was never a fastball guy. The curveball he opened it up with was kind of nice. Yeah, he was a junk ball thrower. Brocious, Yardsky. Scott Brocious, Samori. There you go. Why did that's I That's North Cal. Yeah. That was a good replay. Yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. Ooh, look at camera work following that ball. Great job. It's a little middle Sterling. Drafted by the A's. Who came up with this? He went to Linfield College in Oregon. This is the, right. the that's the famous. The ah! Ryan Castro. <laughs> Dude, what a, what a man. <laughs> it's tough. Do you think he went to bat for uh, Shane Spencer, friend of the Talk in the Yanks podcast? And he's come on our show and chatted with us. Known for, known for mostly an electric month in baseball. Oh, that's a rip. Get Sterling out of here, you know? Yeah. Hey, hell of a start. Held the Yankees. Yeah. Shut out through six. It's true. Nowadays, he would, nowadays he would never get... He would be out of the game. Right now. 
mound. Yeah, Bruce Bochy is going to make a trip to the mound. Wow, Bochy looks so young. Right Strong. As we've seen throughout the regular season nice and the postseason. I mean, that's just a nice piece of hitting. A little over 20 years ago. When you just think of a double, that's kind of what I picture right there. Yeah, I've got a little more in the gap. Yeah, a little more to yeah. the left field. Yeah, yeah. But that, like, projectory and speed. San Diego, give it up. So what I remember. Sterling. What I remember about this World Series, Jake, is that after the Yankees swept the Padres, the uh, San Diego fans stayed and clapped uh, for the Padres like after they, after they lost, you know. And like I think Tony Gwynn came out and like saluted, like a movie, like the losing team. And uh, I think I remember my mom trying to tell me it was the Yankees. I mean, it doesn't add up. Yeah, but it is nice now. Like I understand, I respect it now, but. For the first time in this like, World Series, you never know what's going to happen. I think this is a mistake on Bruce Bochy's part. For me, I would leave Hitchcock in the game and allow him to pitch to Girardi for several reasons. Is this hot body hands and face? I don't know. McCarver saying it's a mistake. To pull the ball and get the runner to third, and that's only one. Because they switched Jorge around from the right side to the left side. Yeah, he said he rather would have faced Girardi. Or Hank Pasada, the pinch hitter. from the left side. Jeez. Dang. Tough first pitch for the leader. They didn't have to slide in. Hamilton, huh? And it's now Spencer at third with nobody Alexander out. Alexander Hamilton. Normally, Bruce Hamilton. Bochy will take Larritz out in a situation like this. Oh, my God. It's but funny that up second in the this was the inning, and Posada pinch hitting for Girardi with Laird's behind the dish. Like eight. the three Yankee catchers of the 90s. Yeah. All in one. All in one hard, that is not Sterling the Bruce Bochy. It looked like Laird's was caught by surprise. Ooh. Now with Spencer at third What's that? Kind of wanted it. 2-0. Oh. It's on this Padres team. Greg Vaughn. That's a name I remember. Facing Jorge Ken, Ken, Ken Caminetti, Andy Ashby, that was Steve Finley in center field. 95. Julio Varis. Yep. Posada's got two home runs in eight games. I think it was only eight at that still. Ball and two strikes on Jorge Posada. Yikes. Spiked one again. Nice you can't do that. Layers is like you motherfucker. Yeah. Like you let that guy get to third already. Thing about Layers is helmet there. Is it the hockey style? It's a nice block. It's, I was never. It's got a fan two. Of it's got two beer holders on the side. It looks like the beer helmet. Look at that. Oh, I wonder if he had a concussion. Or anything. It looks like extra padding. It's like an addict. It's like a cup holder. Nobody out. Three to one. Padres in the seventh. Yeah. One away and a big strikeout for Hamilton and San Diego. And that's what he was trying to throw. Yeah. I oh, love a good one. So one scouting five. report on Joey Hamilton says he throws a turbo sinker. Oh, Look at the downward movement on that pitch. It's a pitch. really throws nice pitch. Hard, gets a lot of movement. It's a hard change. It's a circle change. What was the speed on it? He was like 86. I think he was like 94 fastball, 86 change. You got that much movement on it, so it's allowed. Working with Hoffman. Allowed. Chili Davis. Charles Chili Davis. He bats for Cone. David Cone, six innings. Three runs, two earned. Two hits. That's Willie Randolph, it. third base coach. We, we watched him run in a couple World Series. And that was fun. Chili Davis. Young base coach. So, like, I didn't realize that Willie Randolph went from player to base Young coach. Young base coach. Because he was, like, it was the 94. Four? No, 90, this. 92. Some hot and cold zone. Wow. Yeah, the tech. It's Fox again. Yeah. So Fox was really took the next step in baseball broadcast, which I didn't know. And Hamilton likes to throw low here. Tim. This is your kind of matchup. Good matchup. But he likes to throw low. low. So it, so Chili's got to look for a mistake changer. That's what I'd be hunting if I was Chili. Like I got a long ass toothpick. That looked like a corn on the cob stick. 
the guy was just with the still radar biting reading on the Fox box 95 miles per hour from Joey Hamilton so 95 85 it's pretty good so it's angry Blue oh, slash red, not giving that. It's a borderline pitch. I'd, I'd like to see more Scott angles of it, but the ump doesn't get to see more angles, Jake. No. Got to take it for what it's worth. Oh, who's that just tossing the ball? Yeah, it looks like a good time. Is that Stoudemire? Big Is that Pettit? I mean Pettit. Now time call is a beach ball. I saw a nose. Gets loose out in left I center field. I didn't think you saw a nose. Gives a foot in left center. And now time call. Runner at third, one out after the Spencer. Pitching chip. See that nose? Looks like Pettit's nose. It's looks like Burfus's hairline. Followed up by the double by Shane Spencer. Pitching change. Pass ball. Runner at third, one out after the Spencer. Yep. White, definitely a white nose. Gets loose. Where there would be a nose. Out in left center field. Nice service. announcement during the World Gives Series. Gives the fans a chance to take a breath here. <laughs> what are they announcing? Something about customer service? Double barrel. Those are the right-hander, Lloyd the left-hander. They were up earlier, and one of those two will enter. In the bottom of the seventh Who is that protecting them? It's mm-hmm. like an old guy. Like a young catcher. Runner at third, one out. Chili Davis. The ground ball to the left side. Oh, oh Padres. Padres. Safe, including Spencer at the plate. Yikes. It's a one-run game, and you cannot convince me that Ken Caminiti is healthy. <laughs> okay. That Can he convince you? No. Is, that ball is there, I mean, there had to be a storyline there. I mean, Ken Caminiti, I'm assuming, was hurt, and I think he normally gets that ball up, pretty easily. Yeah, over. that's a... Would a shortstop have had him? Can't fully blame the shortstop because he was expecting no not to come. But I wonder if Chile, wonder if Chile was booming at this time. You want a major Goldman leaguer to still right at shortstop? Yeah, able to put, put that in there. It hit glove. two. That ball hit two gloves. The good thing is the run was scoring either way, right? Because there's only one out. Yeah. So and and uh, Ochi, this next run doesn't score. So in, in the end, that doesn't hurt him that much. It, it allows another batter. Let's skip to the eighth run. On the part of Caminiti, which is rare because Homer Caminiti Bush. did not get a glove on the ball. Typically, that's... Homer Bush, great numbers with the Yankees. Bad numbers everywhere else. What is that sort of? Not ideal. And Dozy. I think this is the last out. Oh, there he is. Nope. That's baseball. See, Jeter's got no range. Are you kidding me? Can't do that in a World Series game. He was trying to get his Tony Kemp. He's trying to get his Dan Gladden on. Can't try, do that. He's trying to get. A, is this guy an announcer? Because that was if he, he was trying to get. It's not because of that. I know he's trying to get his announcer hit. So is this Shane? Yeah. So Shane Spencer had a pretty big role in uh, four outs we've watched so far. Yeah. Get the tag back and on Nobby, the elbow. Geez, speaking of Dan Gladden, took Nabla. And now Randy Myers takes over here in the eighth inning. Facing Paul yeah. O'Neill and missing. Randy Myers, no commercial. I think Trevor one of the old nasty boys, if I remember, days. still twirling it. He has not started the eighth inning in any game this year. Pretty Bruce brutal year, right? Yeah. <laughs> Tough postseason so far. You're not going to be able to use Two point anyway. Yeah. Just, uh, Jeff Nabla's brother. Trevor Hoffman. Hall of Famer. He, I think, wasn't that great in this series either. On Sunday night, four game Yankee sweep. Stadium. Yeah, but it's to be a great. different Paul O'Neill you're looking at. Fantastic. Now he's seen Randy Myers once. Tough to be a good closer in a team in a series where your team gets four game sweep. Yeah, you hear it said almost full of time. Almost impossible. Sometimes the save comes in the eighth inning. In order to be a good closer, you know, the the look at Paul for the Yankees. Yankees. It's Myers You like Paul O'Neill's batting stance that little like last set. It's weird. Maybe former teammates. Maybe. On the Reds. Maybe. 
could look it up. But the Paul, the fun in that. The Paul O'Neill. Just yell at me in the call box. The Paul, oh, so, so scared. The Paul O'Neill little, like, leg thing. That timing device he does. It, kind of the 90s Luke Voigt a little bit. That's what I was going to say. It is like a Luke Voigt, but it's a little less smooth. You don't see a lot of batters do it. It's different. You want to know the difference? Paul's is technically a leg kick. Luke's is a glide. Mm -hmm. That hat doesn't fit Hoffman's head. That looked like when my dad wears my brother's hat. Part of the fun. It's the intimidation factor. That crew right there is my childhood. Oh. Go to get it. Bit of a party. One sure way you know you're in San Diego so like, and hey guys, uh, we're down two games. Yeah. And we're Bowling about to lose a third. So if you could cut it out with the goddamn beach balls. The little series goddamn oh, hippies and bleachers. Look at O'Neal. Yeah. I want that. Full count. This is a big pitch. Inside. So if you're a left-hander, you take the inside part of the plate away Bernie on deck. and look outside as Bernie Williams waits Hanson. on deck. Fair. Handsome. Look at that. What a strong. That's a, such a strong late 90s yeah. power lady look. Yeah. That was great. I'm on her side, but you don't want to be not on her side. No. Especially when it comes to her children. Oh, she's she's bitched out a lot of principles. 3-2 pitch. Coming to O'Neill. Ooh, leadoff walk. He's got to put that pitch a little closer. You know what they say about leadoff walks, Jake? Uh, runner on first. They suck, and I hate That is the third walk handed to the Yankees tonight. Hmm. And now Bruce Bochy will come out. What are we doing? That hat doesn't fit that arm's head either. Double He's got switch. the pitcher spot due to lead off in the bottom of this eighth inning. Hoffman. So they skipped Andy the commercial. I wonder if they're going to skip it. Sheets! I remember that name. Here he comes. It's Trevor time, baby. Nope. Looks like they really pushed the Trevor time. The as Trevor came out of the this and here is, is exciting. The they have the lead. With they bring in one of the best closers to ever do it. Having a good postseason. And having a good postseason. So, I mean, if you're a Padres fan, you're like, hell oh, yeah, let's slam the door on game three. I hope he throws a couple good change jokes because I, I watched some Hoffman highlights a couple months ago and I couldn't believe what it actually looked like. It looks like a Zito curveball just straight. This is not the regular season. Yeah. Bugs Bunny change up. That was a fast one. 89? Yeah. yeah, I think Hoffman didn't pump it, but dude, he would drop his change up to like 60s. Base, a very smart base runner, 15 Retain. stolen bases in 16 tries. He tries to steal by timing the pitcher. Hoffman with a huge leg kick, easy to run on. There's a little slide step there. One ball, 75. One that's 14. You can see Hoffman difference. right there. A slide step. And when you get a pitcher like that in a that slide step, quick. you're going to take something past. away from his normal delivery. Bernie, Bernie, That's Bernie, 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 Slide step. Slide step the left foot up off the it's a nice pitch right there. I liked it. It's a 90 strike. A 90 yeah, they strike. got those outside. Bernie, yeah. Is about Not running. ideal for him. This is the change up situation. Hoffman's for mouth chin. When he normally goes yeah, that yeah, devastating yeah. change up. It's like on. a power chin with the chaw, and then there's like a little extra athlete muscle in there somewhere. Not doing it for me. Back. It almost doesn't fit on the rest of his face. It's like he took a chin from someone else. an extra piece. Yeah. yeah. Like a yeah, chin replacement. Who has Trevor Hoffman for the Yankees. Poaching is great. So Tori has always looked at him. Oh, I like that little dance by Bernie. Girardi, the other. A little giddy up. Got to bring it in here. In the lineup for New York tonight. Curtis watching from the bench is Bernie Williams. Huge wow. pitch here. Chad Curtis, your guy. Close friend of yours. Hero in this. Nobody and also a terrible guy. Two two is the. Tried to get in. What even was that? 
Crazy how gone that would be at Yankee Stadium. And it, but it didn't look like a gone swing. What? Bernie, Bernie got the barrel on it. That's all you got to do, kids. Just get the barrel on it. Yeah, it went way farther than I thought it was going to go. Goes all the way back to the wall, feels with his left hand to see how close he's this. getting it. At the same time, Steve Finley was streaking <laughs> over from Oh, I guess they wanted to show Julio the the Ferris just tagging. getting all sorts of juiced up on the relay. Double back up. Well, 51 you know, versus 51. They were trying, to, they were trying to throw their guy out of second base. Yep. <laughs> Good rip, this close. <laughs> Good rip, kid. No replay of that <laughs> swing. Count. Come on, Fox. That's second deck at the stadium. He's got that pitch going for him. That outside. Curve gives him three quality pitches, which is rare for a closer. Outstanding fastball, the one that's sitting 88. Yeah, I think that last one he pumped in a little better. I think they just threw up a late. Are you trying to say it's 97? I can't read the thing. It would make a lot more sense. I thought it said 98 the first time, but that's like... I don't know. Padres fans are yelling. I mean, look at that binder. Corey with a big-ass binder. Chopping trees down. One ball, one strike on Gino Martinez. Ooh. That's a 98? See, I don't know. His his fastball reached back as high as 91 in 1998. So, so no, it's his 88. No, it's just in contrast to the change. But a little ridiculous for the... <laughs> I like what he's saying. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's ridiculous that, like, the Carver scouting his boy or whoever said outstanding fastball. I mean, and it can be. When Martin it's paired with the change, it's, well, yes, the change it yes. makes it's not on its own. Run at first with only one That's how it but works. it can be a good fast. Yeah, he's, it's run. been his best pitch this uh, this thing, but it's because the of one else. World like if he just do that change up, still a good pitch because there's so much movement. Three and one is the key. So prayers, and his fingernails. Good split screen here. Yeah, there'll be Fox in the middle. Another walk. Four, and now the go ahead run is on for Power the Yankees walk. here in the eighth inning. Two walks. Uh -oh. Make hit. Here oh. comes the man who led off the seventh right. inning with a home Tito run. Martinez draws the walk and now two Scott for Brocious three tonight. Bets. 381 on the series. Brocious is two yeah. out of three, and he got the scoring started for the Yankees. Oh, play. Yeah. With that swing at the top of the seventh inning. That was an easy home run. Three-two pitch from Sterling Hitchcock. The Yankees would get another run, driven in by Chili Davis. They trail by one. All right. I love all the franchises. I have nerves in the stands. Two on, one out. Brocious. Like that's his changeup. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, and you got the strike. Look, look at the drop on this one, kids. It's a Zito it's a curve. curve. You're right. That is just a curve. Strike ball. one. First time we've seen the curve ball from Trevor. Oh, that was the curve ball. So now I'm the asshole. The wow. Well out in front of they gave a check swing. Check you happy swing. about that? Yeah, they called a strike on it. They were seeing the difference there. The, the, the scouting report said, oh, wow. The scouting report said they did have a curve ball. So that's the change. Mm -hmm. 75. Same speed. Has kept it in front. Just a little more darting. Fortunately, it was in front of Carlos Hernandez. Had it trickled off to the right what? or behind yeah, like him. O'Neal goes to third base. Or well, whoever the first base well, Hernandez has done a great job Not. already catching Hoffman in this inning, keeping that change. I'm loving all the backwards front. hats. Like, it's a relatively Griffey easy just came around. Maybe the backwards hat. Pretty cool. I've seen a bunch in the stands. Hernandez was perfect position that time. The Lairitz, they took him out. He's out. To bring someone to block some balls. Hello. Good time to say to left. Big ball, one out, yeah. ball, one strike. Just and block. another thing they did bring in Hernandez to save a wild pitch. Two and one. 
Is it a headband on, or is his hair matted? Just a just thick one. matted hair, yeah. Out for you behind home plate. Carlos Hernandez has been a real dirt like dog this inning. like glued to his forehead. Why is this eighth inning important? Outside he needs to do a little. Just, like, get it off, man. Now we're going to get some acne. Most days. people would be bothered by that. Yeah. The Look at that white beard. I'll be there soon. Including the playoffs. Yeah. 92 and 0. What do you think of the conversation is here? Take a deep breath. Back to July Hammer the zone. Throw a strike. Trust your field. Nobody's got a hit off you yet. You're the best. Trust your stuff. For the Yankees Execute. with O'Neal, the lead runner at second. Tino Martinez on at first. Really Both walked hat. in this eighth. And Brocious, Not the Yankees leading like RBI and at man? the plate. Maybe it was SD. That's a big reason why. Five out of 11 with runners in scoring that. position. Here he is with two on, one out. Three, two. Here's the score. To the third baseman, foul, two and two. Oh, well. Good battle by Scotty. That's a fair. To go back to the high leg kick. He had not used it with any consistency this inning. But that last pitch is more Trevin. He's used the high leg kick like he wants to. High leg kick that helps again. Both his fastball, but particularly that changeup. Now the 2-2 to Brocious. Into center field, well hit. Finally got that high leg kick, though. Man. 410 feet. You see a now block going crazy. And, oh, show us the classic cash yeah. and fist pump. So nerdy. I'd love it if it's... There's... Right here. <laughs> Yay! I love it if Cashman went to war for Brocious. You know, it wasn't just that he won this game. Right. Like, it's like, no, no, no. There's like a lot more to it. And there goes game three. And it is Oh. Ooh. Oh, my God. God, imagine being. Oh is this in God. San Diego right now? Brian no, this Cash is Logan. The Yankee general manager trying his hardest. Not well, like that's a weird yeah. graphic to Thank pair Cash with the uh, Cashman fist pump. Don't need that right now. Brian Cashman, the Yankee general manager, Brian's trying his hardest. career at the end, so it's a little fun. Don't think it's all sad news. And now Holy smokes! What a time for Ricky that. Yeah. And then to show Cashman fist pump. And we're back at the World Series. Here we go. Come on, the lead come on. Get gets, that, gets that fastball. Scott Brocious continues to oh, stop coming off of 2 season. Not a bad game. A year ago in Oakland. David Free. During the regular season. So this is the end of this game. At the bottom of the order. It's the final. And I have the last out queued up. Yankees win go up 3 0 there. Again, one of the best teams ever, so hockey league. Who do we got here? Last out. From out the Mark Sweeney, Who's pitching? Strike one. Some skinny dude from Panama. 65,000 have gone silent here tasteful. in San Diego. Grew up playing catch with a milk carton. As Sweeney is at the plate with an 0-1 Grew count. Grew up drinking milk cartons. Yes. Dump the milk out, just drink the carton. 0-2. There El Duque. This thing about coming out there. That's There's the Andy Bennett's nose. nose. That was it. Different nose. No, that was, that was the same nose. Definitely saw that. Ooh, a little smile from Andy. Mm. Back Ooh, a smile. excited. Andy Talking to the good Lord right there. The starter of tonight's game is Sweeney grounds to third. Brocious. It's a tough throw. Brocious. All over this. Girardi's helmet just flapping around in between everyone there. Oh, my God. Yo, Mariano always loses himself in celebrations. Like, he's one of those guys where his whole body goes numb. And Cashman just with the handshake. No double thumbs up? Come on. They knew it was over. Yeah. They brought in Mariano. That's the coolest part of Mariano. Joe Torre. 
with another world championship in his third Joe. season at the controls of the New York the Yankees. Hat he won it in 96. Oh, he he is. wins it here in 1998. Oh. He won the Tight last shot. four from the Atlanta Braves and all four from the San Diego Padres. Eight straight. Good job, it's been Willie. an emotional ride for these Yankees. Never tested during the regular season. Tested a bit in the American League Championship Series by the Cleveland Indians and a clean four game sweep of the San Diego Padres here in the World Series. Not only are they score when you win at home, field, huh? the Yankees, that is. A little bit. Who's that guy? But from ear to ear, you could just feel Daryl Strawberry smiling, convalescing at home. Sad. The old sitting crew. Great Gatorade spot. Don't want to be sitting when the World Series ends. And everything that he has been through. Okay. Honored by former teammate Jim Lehrer to the Padres. The Padres are in the dugout right now watching the celebration of the New York Yankees. And they have captured a weird feeling for World Championship. Yeah. I know a lot of the other guys. But. Win season, including the postseason. Soho, Keelan. See if there's any. Uh, there's a I think this is Sea League's first. Uh, two and one in this they don't have any years to miss, but the loss. The nose gets the MVP of this game. Scott Brocious. Player of the game, Scott Brocious. Shane Spencer was around more than I thought in the, the tiny bit we watched. A couple clips. I'm sure that he doesn't like that he's just known as a flash in the pan when he made contributions to a World Series team as well. Yeah. Probably like, why don't you guys talk about my double? I mean, you gunning out that dude at second. Good World Series. Kind of boring. Sweeps are boring. We got, uh, that was it. That's the end. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Tough break for the pods. Good team. Tony went about at 500. In that series. <laughs> Did the Yankees stop pitching to him? Why so, not? Have some fun. Let yeah, Tony hit. Doesn't matter, right? It's kind of funny. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with the 1999 World Series.